Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay with another Marketplace video for you. If you're new, the Marketplace is an online consignment shop that I host on my website. The link is below and I sell journals from artists who don't have their own shops. I do all the marketing and the shipping and all of that. So if that sounds interesting to you, let me know. I can send you guidelines. So today I have two boxes of journals from Vicki Phelps. If you've been watching my Marketplace journals this year, you will be familiar with her and her work. I have done this more than once, so I'm excited to get right into it. So, yep, my little buddy found some stickers, so hang on. And I'm back. So we're going to start off with this one. Uh, sometimes Vicky does journals, and sometimes they're kind of a hybrid between an album and a journal. So that's always really inspiring to me, since I don't really make many albums. I find them... Um, little above my skill level honestly sometimes so I like to get inspired so this is a beautiful color look at the fabric on the spine look at how wide that spine is this is my hand I would say it's a couple inches well yeah three over three inches yeah, beautiful so it's an album you can see the pages and then there's like a rosette and a dragonfly some little dangles it's called Pastels and Flowers. She's calling it a sack journal. There are six mini traveler's notebooks in here, top pockets, flips, tags, and there's a whole bunch. So I know that I won't get every flip and every tuck. So here is the little mini TN. It's just a few pages, which is perfect for pulling out and, and maybe writing about one thing or memory keeping one thing and sticking it back in. I know there's more that I'm gonna miss, like there's top loading um, photo maps and journal cards. So I know that there will be some surprises for you guys. So these looks like she's used paper bags, and I think that's what she called it, paper sack. And she's used those as the pages. Isn't that really cool? This would just be so fun. And each, each of these top ones pulls out with a beautiful journal card. This says removable with a magnetic flap. Okay, so here's a magnetic flap and you have some pockets. There's a few journal cards and things in them and that's magnetic, but she just put it over that. There's some like tags. And these bags are gusseted, so you can fit a lot in them. Lots of extra photos and ephemera and things like that. Just beautiful. You get an idea? That is really neat. I think that is so cool. Be perfect for a coffee table or your um, bookshelf. So then we have this one. Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? This is also an album. This feels like it's a wallpaper cover. Look at this cluster here. Isn't that gorgeous? And the spine, I'm trying to show you the details. There's a little beaded glam tassel here that's attached with this pink binder clip and wallpaper. It's gorgeous. Oh, and we do have a closure on this one. I'm trying to stand at the right angle here. It's not easy. <laughs> All right, so this is called wall flowers. There are hidden pockets. You know I'll miss some of them, so there'll be some nice surprises when you get it, but it looks like maybe here we have some pullouts for journaling. Lots of places for journaling or photos. Gorgeous paper collection. I think that's textured wallpaper. And that's wallpaper. A lot of pullouts. I'm not pulling them all out, but there's a few tags. One thing that really draws me to this type of an album, this is a fabric collaged like little dashboard. You could put a photo here. Um, what really draws me to these is how clean cut and crisp they are. Sometimes it's a nice 
change from junk journals. I'm a junk journal gal through and through, but sometimes it's nice to see things with the pure white borders and just a little more clean cut, just as something different. And this is a little, little booklet. Isn't that sweet? And I think it's really neat when they join together junk journal elements as well as like album. This would be beautiful for a baby girl or a wedding, or maybe you just have granddaughters that you want to, you know, maybe you just love the, the whole glam look here. I think it's just beautiful. So next, I think this is another album. There are some journals here too, but this is another album. This is fabric. Got card stock. This is pull out and add photo. So you can put a photo there that's been painted. Look at the bright, cheery colors. This one is called the stash book made from lunch sacks, top page inserts, flaps, and tucks. So in this, she's just used a whole bunch of things. I think that she was using up like D stash, which is wonderful. I do that too. And then they're top loading. So there's going to be papers and different things in the top. I am not at a good angle. As you can see I'm getting in the way here. There's more in there. I'm not at a good angle to do top loading stuff. I'm just going to frustrate myself. So just know that all of these sacks have top loading papers and things like that in them. So you are going to get a surprise. Here's a waterfall. Perfect for journaling and photos. Really pretty. Oh, okay. What is going on here? Oh, there was just a little something stuck on it. There we go. Get that off so it doesn't stick again. A little piece of glue. Here's a belly band and some cards. Again, these are all top loading sacks that have things in them. I'm trying to stay in frame. These are big and they open up lots in here. And this is just like one of those gift wrap ribbons, really pretty purple. Of course, you could replace it with fabric or lace. If you preferred, this may not hold up very well for all of the tying closed, or you might not even need a closure for it. So there's that one. This one is next and it is a journal. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. So you have a wooden bird cage. This is fabric covered. You have like, whole bunch of embellishments. You can see there's a little hummingbird, butterfly, three signatures sewn in. I love this closure. Isn't that beautiful? It's just simple, elegant. It's called Birds and Butterflies. Homemade journal cloth cover. You have a little, I'm not gonna open it, I'm at the wrong angle. Whenever you're at a wrong angle and you don't have room because my camera's right up here and I'm gonna knock it off, it can be difficult to get into every pocket for you guys, but Love the color scheme in this. It's inked up and grungy, but lots of room for writing. I love these different surfaces. There's a little, gotta see these little details. There's a little safety pin, a little bit of beading she put on here after she machine stitched it. I think it is No. Oh, it's a it's an altered paper clip. All right, there we go. I'm just trying not to break anything. This is an altered paper clip. There is a paper clip inside there. Isn't that the neatest thing? And then it was just holding on this sweet little envelope with a journal card in there. Isn't that beautiful? I'm pretty sure it's somebody's digital kit. I'm not sure exactly whose, and if she she may have said, and I didn't see. See. Nope, she didn't say. Look at the stitching. I love this thread she used. It's really thick. And it really stands out. I like this one a lot. Look at the different colors on the pages. You can see the lace between the signatures. Every page has been either dyed or 
printed on different texture looks. Looks like there's some parchment type papers and coffee dyed papers, gorgeous digitals, stamping. There's some like distress inks or glimmer mists. So pretty. Look at that butterfly there. Love her touches. I'm a huge fan of her work. And I think I, every time she sends another batch, I love them more than the previous batch. So love what she's, look at this teeny clip. I have never seen a binder clip that tiny. That is the cutest thing ever. I don't know if it's a Tim Holtz. I've just never seen it before. And there's a little wax seal on that envelope. Little fabric pocket. She's made like a little library card pocket. That is gorgeous. I love this journal. Definitely would be tempting to buy, but I need to save money for Christmas shopping and the like. Here is a little notebook. Look at that. I think this is called the um, Copic Stitching. Little booklets in there. It says, this is my life. It's an elastic closure holding it together. Here on the front page, there's a little envelope. You have to look at the edge of this journal. It is like um, ragged, like it's been torn. It's super, super thick though. I'm not sure exactly what she made it out of. It's beautiful. It's called Country Charm One Inch Spine Copic Stitch Genevieve Design Digital Papers. So of course, a fan of Genevieve. Jen is super sweet and talented, of course. So some of her lovely papers. This is just a lovely journal to write in. I love how flat it lays open. You have all of these little fun things, but lots of room to journal. Be great to keep by your bedside. It's about the perfect size for a gratitude journal or something like that. You get a couple cut aparts and things in there. Look at that. Little pocket, it's stitched and there's a wax seal. Lots of lined pages. I love the size. You could put it in your purse too. It's a little top loading pouch. It is super sturdy. That cover is incredible. And this is just like an elastic band. You could tie on lace if you wanted to. I like the elastic because it just holds it together super easy, especially if you're carrying it around. So here's another journal. I, I think this is beautiful. Three signatures. It's an old book cover and look at the hardware she put on there to keep it closed. And then it, it just um, threads through the loops here. It's called a touch of gold. Look at the buttons there. I'm loving this color scheme already. So it is a very vintage feel. Little booklet, little envelope pouch. There's digitals and um, lines, belly band there. There's a tag and some, not sure what that is. I think it's an envelope flip book. Yep, you can put photos and journal in that. Look at that. I don't I wonder what digital kit this is. It's beautiful.
This, I believe, is Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Some of the designers I know pretty well, and some of them, some of them I can't quite pick out. A lot of us do similar type ones. Some little dividers in there. You could put little photos or mementos. Love this kit, though. If you use a digital kit, like obviously if you're just pulling from a bunch of kits, you don't have to write them all down. But if you're primarily using one, it's really nice to put it in the journal on your little uh, sheet of paper you include when I'm selling it. Because you may actually get some sales for that person, for that designer. If you say, oh, it was um, this designer or that designer, we may go and look it up and purchase it because we loved how you used it. And it's a great way to support your favorite designers that way too. Here is another a little book. It's ring bound, two rings. Fabric, it's like a velour fabric with some ribbons. This is a magnet closure. It looks like some of the Genevieve printables again. Really pretty. Perfect for notes and with the ring bound you can remove the different pages. I'm not gonna flip through every one because it's Kind of obvious what it is and we have a lot more to look at this would be a really nice stocking stuffer it's the perfect size for that as well give it to yourself as an early christmas gift <laughs> all right here is an album it says precious memories i think this would be lovely for a baby girl gift or someone's you know like a two-year-old birthday give it to the mom or if you have a granddaughter and you want to record your memories of her. Isn't that beautiful? So this, I believe, is um, some Graphic 45 paper. And there's some top-loading pockets, too. I'm not going to pull out all of the um, journal cards or tags or whatever you want to call them. But there's a lot here. All of the pages have a top pull out as well and you have a little waterfall here that the colors on this, this is just so sweet so there's that one i'll tie it later here is a big a bigger one it looks like it might be fairy themed isn't that pretty this is a journal three signatures look at the the glitz and glam Some ribbons tied on there. Looks like it was a repurposed book cover. Look at all the lace. So we have some sari silk and fabrics. Wow, look at that. I don't know if that was a sticker or a transfer or just part of a paper. That's really cool. Lots of purple. Lots of pretty. Oh, I bet it was a stencil. That's what I bet it was. It's kind of like fairy and flowers and all things purple and pretty. A lot of pages. Yeah, they're stencils, and I think she used like a modeling paste. really pretty it's a great way when you're making journals too it, occasionally to do color themes because you can use up um, random papers you can pull out like all your blues or all your purples or all your pinks and try to use up the ones that you're not using in other journals but they're gonna look great put together um, in a journal together. She's got a couple digital papers in here too. Really pretty. There's room for you to write and there's room for you to add your own ephemera and stenciling. There's a pouch here. A whole bunch of ephemera and cut of parts in there. And some 
What is this? I don't know. Oh, it's just like an end paper, I think. Just to hold this on and keep your stuff together, you have a clip. So there's that one. Here is another album. This one has a very wide spine as well. Gorgeous tassel. Little acorn. Really pretty. There is a butterfly clipped onto the closure. You know I'll miss some of the pullouts and stuff, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. Looks kind of like a little bit of a travel theme too. See, I see maps, an itinerary. Perfect for a trip. Got a little waterfall here too. These journals, there were two boxes. One of them, I don't know that she put information for page numbers and stuff. So I don't have information on all of them. There's that one. And then there's this one. This is a journal, two signatures. It's quite big. It's gorgeous. It's upholstery fabric, doilies, little jewels. Look at that. Look at this tassel. Little bits of jewelry and ribbon. Okay, let's look inside. This is called Gold and Doilies. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Look at those flowers. Oh, I love the different size pages where you have big ones and smaller ones. Your belly bands. Coffee dyed pages. card trims <laughs> love the little pockets perfect for tucking things in Kind of grungy. I love the grungy look. Look at that. Got like cutoffs that you can use for journal cards or collaging. Love that blue paper. There's a pouch. I think that's an altered paper clip. I don't want to ruin it, but you guys, and then this, I think is a, like an envelope flip book. There, pouch of ephemera. And we have one more. This is gorgeous. This is just a gorgeous book. So many special touches added. Truly one of a kind. I haven't seen one quite like this. Reminds me of some of the ones my mom does. So here is a, it looks like it's an altered composition notebook that is might be cooking themed. There's a little belt closure. Here's the front and the back. And it, yeah, it's a composition notebook, but it's been altered. It's called Altered Composition Cookbook, 86 pages, expandable closing buckle, 50 plus envelopes. So, oh, she's made like pouches at the top. So you can, if you can see the little notches in the paper, you can slip in your printed recipes or your recipe cards or stuff like that. So, and then you have um, some like 
dividers or pockets throughout as well. I love using notebooks for keeping recipes together. So this is perfect. Love the washi on the edges. Makes the page turning easy and it gives the edges, look at how neat those edges look. So you can stuff it way up because you have an expandable buckle closure. So super cool. That is all I have for journals today. They're all in the marketplace section. I do have a couple of paper pads that I've sourced for you guys um, that are going to be in the junk journal supply section. And I have one um, glitter from American Crafts. There's 24 papers, 12 colors. These are gorgeous glitters. Gorgeous. Oh, they're so pretty. So I knew somebody would like that. I have another Christmas paper pad. I thought I had added all these, but I have one of those. I have an embossed foil one. Look at how pretty that embossing is. These would look so pretty as pockets and things in journals. Look at that. They're all embossed and metallic. 24 sheets. And then this is a Jen Hadfield along the way. I like this size paper because it's six by eight and it does have gold foil. I actually picked up four of them because they're so stinking cute. They have gold foil, but then there's other ones that are just so sweet. Look at those little girls. I think I have the 12 by 12 version of this, but I like this size paper for working in journals. There's so many things you can do with this size. So I picked up four packs of that for you guys as well. So I really do hope that you love and enjoy this restock. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Tomorrow will be a uh, the giveaway. Uh, should be tomorrow. If not, it'll be Wednesday, but there'll be the big giveaway video. So make sure you're subscribed because you are not going to be able to participate in the 10K giveaway if you have not subscribed. So I'll see you all in the next video.